morning YouTube, Robert here from Robert Moss Catfishing and Outdoors. Today I wanted to show you how I rig up for uh, Team Catfish Super 7 and Sudden Impact. Okay, first I make a loop. This is how I tie my knots. Wrap it around your finger until you get to that point. Then I simply put the loop through here. Simply just pull it tight. Cut off this tag in. It's a braided line, so it's kind of hard to get the tag in off. Okay, well, if I screwed up, what I should have done before making my loop is put on my sinkers. So I used Team Catfish uh, snagless sinkers slide up and down your line these work good for me on the jordan river plenty of weight when i cast out my, my bait stays where i want it next thing i go to is uh the sinker bumper this is going to probably be pretty hard to do with the loop in my line I should have paid closer attention. Nope, it uh, looks like I got it. So, there you go. Then I go to my barrel swivel. I just simply put my loop through my barrel swivel like that, open up the loop run the barrel swivel through the loop and simply just pull tight. That has been a great knot for me. Real easy to tie, fast to tie, and it's never failed me. So, again we have the barrel swivel, the sinker bumper, and the sliding sinker. This is going to be set up for the Teen Catfish uh, uh, Sudden Impact. Next I'm going to go to my leader. It's about a foot and just barely a foot leader. Same thing, going to make a loop. This is 20 pound mono. This is 20 pound braided, uh, tug of war braided. This is tug of war uh, 20 pound mono. For my leader, I go with the mono on the braid. Again, just making that loop and running the loop, what was wrapped around my finger, and pulling it tight. Snip off your tag in. Okay. So the bottom part, I'm going to do the same thing. Make a loop, wrap it around my finger, sometimes it doesn't go the way I want it to, <laughs> and simply just run the loop that I made and through the loop around my finger and just pull it tight. Snip off your tag in. Okay, so with the barrel swivel, I'm just going to run my loop through the, the barrel swivel. Easy as pie. Grab the other end, run it through. And just simply pull tight. The knot always catches so you just got to help it out a little bit and just simply pull tight there you go same goes for the hook now this is exactly the way team catfish does their rigging so 
this is nothing that I came up with on my own. This is just the knots is the way I do my knots, so I just wanted to show you that and show you how I set up for the sudden impact. The sudden impact bait has fiber in it, so you can just use a bare treble hook. This is a size 6 treble hook. So that's all you need. You don't need no dip tubes with the sudden impact. You simply do what I've been doing. You run your loop through, and now I gotta put the hook through that loop. And then it's a little tricky with a treble hook. And simply just pull it tight. There you go. I am all rigged up and ready to go fishing with the, the sudden impact king catfish. Um, I do try other baits like worms, hot dogs, and stuff like that, but I just, when you find a bait it works for you, uh, and you're catching fish, I don't see any reason to try, uh, to switch baits and switch, uh, your brands, um, but I'm not opposed to trying stuff, um, you'll, you will see some bait offs from me, I'm planning on doing some here pretty soon. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like if you like, subscribe if you haven't already, and have a good one.